and good morning. Uh, happy Wednesday and welcome to your first day of learning from home. All of you should have received the packet by now and in that packet you should have gotten a distance learning schedule here and I'm just going to go over what was expected of you today and the different things that you have in this packet that could be helpful for you. So for core knowledge uh, today I wanted you to read Prometheus Brings Fire and Pandora Brings Woe. And that should be in a packet that looks like this. It's just a series of typed out myths for you to read. You're only going to read the first one. And if you haven't already checked out my YouTube channel, I also recorded myself reading this myth aloud for you to listen to and follow along with your reading if you'd like. So that's what I want you to do for core knowledge. Now in math, some of you have a packet that looks like this, while some of you have a packet that looks like this. I'm going to talk about each packet one at a time, starting with this one. And this one that for today, all I want you to do is complete the first page on addition. Now these are all things that you've seen before. Basically for the next few days, we're just going to review the things that we've learned in math and in other areas. And then as we continue on, we're going to learn more about the subjects that we haven't gone over yet. But for now, we're just going to focus on these. Now, in the second packet, yours starts with a hundreds chart that goes along with rounding. Your goal has nothing to do with this first page, but everything that goes inside of this packet. There are multiple different pages for you to look at. There's estimating sums to the nearest tens. There are some do now morning work questions, and then the rest are rounding numbers to the nearest 10 and putting things in skip count order and number lines and everything. So this, this packet specifically has no order to it. You can start anywhere in this packet that you want. However, with this packet, I do want you to start with the first page and we're gonna work our way to the back. It kind of goes in order of what we've learned so far this year. Now for reading, all of you have the same packet. This packet starts with finding the main idea. Now, I numbered all of these pages myself, so hopefully everything works out well for you. Today, all I want you to do is do the first two pages, which would be six paragraph reads and choosing what the main idea is. And if you forgot, how to identify a main idea. A main idea is what the story or text is mostly about. So you need to think about what this is mostly talking about and then find out what that is. In science, the funny thing is in science, we are focusing first on the human body, which is something that we learned in core knowledge. But I think it's going to be fun. So this first page, um, shows you a word bank and a series of different descriptions. I would like for you to try and label each description using the word bank and you're only going to use the word in the word bank once. So once you've used it once, it's already done. Um, but if you feel like afterwards something might have been wrong, you can always go back and you know erase it and put it where you think it does belong. And if there's a word on here that you don't know what it means, that's the beauty of a dictionary. If you have a dictionary at home, you can for sure use that. I would love it if you could use an actual dictionary because we all know how to do that. But if you do not have a dictionary, I am also okay with you looking it up online. Now, this isn't technically a part of your daily schedule, but this is good writing practice. This is something that is optional for you, but I'd like for you to think about using it throughout the week. It's an opinion writing piece where you tell what you think about a certain topic and each page goes through every part that you need to understand on writing, just like we did with our Eric Carl story. And we'll actually get back to our Eric Carl story eventually, but for right now we're going to we're going to work on this. So it starts with like I said, going over how to organize your thoughts and planning those out. And then you get to start doing a rough draft and it even shows you symbols here 
that you can use for editing, and I think that's awesome. I think that's gonna be really fun for you. So you can write your first rough draft like we started to with our Eric Carl project, and you can start to edit it either with your family or somebody close to you at home. And then you can check your work using this checklist here. And once that's all done, you get to write your final draft, which is using your best handwriting, obviously giving it a title and writing out your whole story with all of the corrections on the last few pages there. And I think that could be a lot of fun for you. Now, I know you also have a lot of other things that have put things in there for you from your music teacher, Miss Brame, from your art teacher, Mrs. Bin. There's even something from Mr. Thomas in there like I told you about in my last video, and I think those are going to be fun too. Now, if you have any questions about any of these things throughout this week, I am available to answer questions from the hours of 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, if you by chance email me outside of that time and I'm still available, of course I will get back to you. Otherwise, I will always for sure be available between 9 and 12. That is my goal. Now, out of the hours then, I will be working on other things, things that could prepare us for what happens after spring break. And all of Seven Hills is working on that. So we'll just see. We're preparing for whatever might come. Um, I hope all of you have a good day. I hope this first day of home learning works out well for you. Don't worry. I promise, even though it's the morning, I still have my coffee. And Olivia, if you can't tell, it's the mug that you gave me for Christmas. Um, yeah. Don't forget to... Take time to relax, and if you're feeling frustrated with anything, don't forget that you can take a break. Um, and remember, this is new for everybody, so we'll all just try to work through it one day at a time. Good luck, guys. Bye.